Importing your data into a sales territory mapping package is one of the most fundamental tasks you have to do when you're creating territories. We really realized this pretty early on in the development of AlignMix and we've invested heavily in making the loading of data as quick and easy as possible for our users. So in this example, I'm gonna take some basic data and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to load it in. Here we've got four files. One of them is a line mix file, but the other three are data that you might want to load into a line mix. We've got the standard zip to territory. We've got some account data or customer data, and we have a Salesforce roster. So these three different data sets are gonna be loaded in quickly and easily. So how we do this is we go to file, import, and then import your data. And this is on the desktop and it's under 2022 demo data. I'm going to do the zip to territory first. Now, one point to note is it doesn't matter which order you import the data. It's very flexible and it will all link up in the background. So zip to territory first and up pops a dialogue. Now on the left hand side, it's got the column headers. And on the right hand side, it's got the types of data. And what we do is we simply drag from the left to the right to classify the data. Now you might say, well, how do we know what the data looks like? Well, Alimex has assumed that the data is on the first worksheet and it's assumed that the top number one row is actually the headings. Now we can change that, um, but uh, you can change it by selecting whichever sheet it is and selecting whichever row is the right row. In this case, it got it right. So this is a zip to territory information. So zip code, this is a zip code ID. And then we have a territory ID and we have a territory name. You'll notice that, say, the account data has disappeared. Uh, the Align Mix knows that once you have a zip code ID here, that you must be importing a zip to territory file. So it gets rid of the other um, fields that are no longer relevant. Again, that makes for a, an easier experience. Next, gives you a summary of the data. So you can see we have uh, 41,000 records. There's 100 territories, 11 districts, three regions. And that's it. Now there are some import errors, three. Uh, let's just have a look and see what they are. Just to make sure that we're not missing anything. And you can see that these are Canadian FSAs. So they've polluted the data somehow. We also have retired zip codes. So the USPS uh, sometimes retires a zip code and replaces it with another one. AlignMix has a database of these retired zip codes. It's found 50 in this data set. And with this uh, report, you can actually see those retired zip codes, wait for it to load, and the replacement. So just to check. So nice and easy. Finish. And you can see the classic sales territories. But if you zoom in, you see the sales territory IDs, but you don't see any accounts. Let's load that data. Import your data, account data, and once again, this is ID to ID. Notice the other fields disappeared. And then the street and street two and city, state, the zip code for the account, the segment. If you had latitude and longitude, you could add it here. Territory ID. And we've got sales rep. I'm not going to do that at the moment. We've got workload sales and potential. That's account data. It's numeric data. You could also do text data. Next, tells you how many duplicates, four segments, 99 territories, 20,000 accounts. And same again. Now when we zoom in, you can see the actual accounts. The final data load is import your data and Salesforce roster. And here once again, this is the idea of the sales rep or the manager. So one thing I would note is that we're importing multiple levels here. Something unique to AlignMix zip code, the home zip code, 
and the assignment. The assignment is the person's assignment to the territory, district, or region. Now, because we have the job title, a line mix is guessing as to what level the each person is, and it's basing it on the job title. So it's filtered this based on rep, and this has the word district in it, and this has the word region. You can drag this to another level if, uh, if a line mix has got it wrong. Next, next, and there we have it. So there you can see now the sales representatives uh, in their territories shaded a little bit darker than the territory color, but enough that you can actually see and recognize that they should be in that territory. So that's the data load process. And you can see that we've gone through that in less than five minutes. It's a really easy process. And it's one thing that our clients tell us time and time again is just how easy it is to get the data into the system. Other systems are much more cumbersome. You have to do it in a certain order. And uh, if you get it wrong, then you have to start again. So if you wanna learn more, please go to the website, alignmix.com and sign up for a one-to-one -one demo where we'll take you through all the functionality of AlignMix and show you how your life in sales operations can be much easier.